All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another Cardboard from Mars Draft Late Night. We have a little bit of an edgy uh, player group online and also it appears in our chat tonight, so um, appropriate for the late night uh, hours, I, I suppose. Um, let's take a look at what we got. <laughs> um, our options are... Um, <laughs> as I said, uh, as I said, we have a <laughs> a rowdy group tonight. All right, so this is looking like a clear interplanetary cinematics. We've got Radchem Factory, which is great. Uh, geothermal power, which gives us a way to get some power. Uh, Medical Lab, Immigrant City. That's a strong. Those are just, that's a strong start right there. Um, I don't think I'm going to take the Jupiter tags. I'm not that interested in that. Um, I think I will take the solar wind power just because we're going to use our initial two power uh, to for Radcam and uh, Immigrant City. And the question is, do we want business network as well or ironworks? I mean, it might even be reasonable to take ironworks. Um, One could also make a case for bushes. This is not a bad one, but up to negative 10, I don't know, I, just, I think I'm gonna want my cash. Um, this is already a lot of cards, five cards, and I wanna be able to deploy a lot of these other things. I'm somewhat tempted to take Ironworks. Um, <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and take it. Let's just see how it goes. Um, so we're playing Mining Guild, Helion, and and I'm playing Interplanetary Cinematics. So, um, that's <laughs> that's right. Um, Immigrant City. Um, hey Wolf, how are you doing? Good to see you. So let's see here. We do have a lot of uh, building tags, which is nice. It kind of sucks that we're playing with uh, Mining Guild just because uh, they start with two tags. And based on our start here, um, uh, it would be really great uh, to sort of go for Builder. I think we are going to play Immigrant City early in this one. Um, Soletta. Okay, that's a nice start for Helion. Um, that is a strong first play for Helion. Okay, so let's go ahead and do uh, Geothermal Power. And let's go ahead and get um, Radchem Factory going. And then we'll go ahead and get Immigrant City down as well. I want to play that early in case anybody else plays a city. Like Mining Guild is likely to want to play a city uh, if they, if given the opportunity. I mean, you could make the case for holding off on Immigrant City um, just to, like it's unlikely that Helion's gonna play a city as the next one and this would save me a little bit of money and a little bit more flexibility depending on what I draw. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pass here the only downside is if somebody takes this energy, that could be annoying. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait one one turn on this, just in case. There there is a little risk with it, but I also don't want to tip off that I'm going for mayor potentially, and I'll just see what we get. All right. 
Okay, so mining area is sweet. Uh, it's a cheap building tag, and I've got Immigrant City to lay down. Passing Extreme Cold Fungus could be bad for me, depending on what other cards people have, but uh, that's okay. Um, so yeah, Mining Guild's a great card. Oh man, I love Anti-Grav. I've got two, two science tags. But kelp farming is also amazing. And I, it looks like I may have a couple cities down here. Man, anti-grav is just, I can't resist it. I also just passed. The only thing about this is I literally just passed extreme cold fungus. And I'm passing down you know what? I don't care. If if the Mining Guild guy took Cold Fungus and then takes this, like I'm cool with it because the Saleta player, the Helion player is going to be able to bump the heat a bunch. I'm just going to take Anti-Grav. I just love that card. And it's it's a powerful play. Um, I guess I'll just take Ecological Zone. I don't r really care about... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to take either of these cards. I guess I'll just take... I guess I'll take... Anti uh, ecological zone. It's just annoying when people place that next to you, and I'm I'm gonna have a vulnerable city here for a while. So I'm gonna take anti grav and mining area. Um, I'm gonna skip energy saving, although it could be good if, to get my ironworks going. There's gonna be one city on the board. I think I'm just gonna hold off. I think I can do better than that. So I think what I'm going to do is um, is play Immigrant City, and then uh, immediately play Mining Area. I mean, the way that this game is lining up, I think it'd be better for me to play Mining Area on a on a steel rather than um, rather than on a titanium I just this the way that this is shaping up demos down okay strong start for the uh, helion player they got a nice economy going already I don't know, Wolf. I hope. I certainly hope so. All right. So let's go ahead and get uh, Immigrant City down. I'll play that here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get Mining Area down. All right, so that puts me at five building tags, which is pretty good. Um, I think I'm just gonna play Medical Lab this turn. Um, I think it'll be good for me just to get that down, just get that bump to my economy going right now. You know, the expansion that I would really like is the alternate boards. Ice Asteroid, okay. Oh, uh, that's a nice play for the Mining Guild player. Uh, perfect card. All right, well, we've all had pretty competent starts. I think mine has been okay. It's not, it's not amazing. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this medical lab down. And let's see here. I, I'm gonna hold off on this. I don't I don't need this yet. Um, I yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. Um, yeah, the turmoil one, that one looks pretty cool. 
I th- I just think that like adding in the new boards would add a considerable amount of game play- gameplay to the online version because just having new milestones is amazing. So what I'm really hoping for now is a- is another city like uh, Cupola or like one of the other ones. Um, Yeah, I'm. You know, I actually like the base game the best. I, I I don't like the Venus expansion that much, and Colony I thought was like okay, but I still think the the most strategic is just the base game. Um, all right, so we got ore processor. So Great Dam is good. Um, gosh, I don't really want to pass ore processor, but I, I don't want to hack it. I already have Ironworks. I think I'm going to take Great Dam. I think that card's going to be good. It's a building tag. It kind of sucks passing Nitrogen Rich Asteroid as well, but um, just the building tag is good, and I do want the power. Um, okay, gosh, this is a tough one too. So Natural Preserve or Lagrange. They're and I Energy Tapping. I just have to remember to play around this. Right now I have zero. So if I do end up playing Solar Wind Power, I need to make sure I use it right away. I think I'm going to take Natural Preserve. Um, it's it's just a it's a building tag. It kind of fits in with what what my overall plan is. A science tag that puts me at four science tags. I think so. I'm ready. I'm ready for any of the um, uh, any of the ones that. Uh, um, You know, like any of the, the bonuses for uh, like the payoffs. I think I will take Hired Raiders. Uh, basically it costs me the same as what I'll get from Mining Guild, so it's a free steal. Um, I think I'll do that, particularly because I'm going for all these, uh, I mean, there's no reason not to. And actually, it's great because I get two cash back for it, so it's actually definitely good for me. So I'll take these three cards. Um, I don't need special design, so we'll just take these. Okay, that's good. All right, so for my opening play here, um, I do want to get Natural Preserve down. And... I just want to drop it in a spot that's going to be annoying for the uh, mining guild player if they are choosing to. So I guess I'll just do this. Put this guy down here. All right, and then uh, I will go ahead and steal. Uh, I'll just wait and see what happens here. So let's see, that guy's got an economy of six plus two, so eight. I have an economy of three, four, five, six, seven. And this guy's got an economy of 11, 12, 13, 14. So the uh, Helion player is doing really well. Um, ooh, Earth Catapult, that's a strong one too. Um, hopefully, I mean, this is shaping up to be a good game. I, ho- I hope I hope everybody stays in it. One thing that could really help me is if I can if I can get two of the milestones, which right now I'm shaping up for mayor and uh, builder. I'm at seven already, so I think I'm I think I'm pretty much a lock for builder. Um, There's really no reason. I have to remember that that energy tapping thing is out there. There's really no there's really no benefit to me playing solar wind power at the moment. I think I've got two tags. Yeah, this would be my third. Yeah. I hope I get the science payoffs. That would be great. Um, alrighty. 
Yeah. Um, let's see here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's see how much uh, Mining Guild's got 11. I guess I kind of want to steal it from Mining Guild before. Uh, although I'll have an opportunity. I guess I'll just wait. There's no reason to do it. Um, I guess I'm just passing. It, it's a little unfortunate that I'm not able to mount more of a an offense here. I guess I could I could just play an ocean tile here, but I'm just gonna wait. I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Uh, one more generation. Technology demonstration. All right, so he's just passing as well. Man, Helion had a strong start. <laughs> Soletta into like several more things that bump the heat. That guy's gonna be tough in this game. That's a that's about the best start that you could possibly get for that. Um, okay. That is unfortunate. You do put a oh wow. Um, all right. Well, I'm I'm glad that he did that. Um, thought he would put that over here, which really would have been kind of annoying. So uh, I do need to be cognizant of uh, those building tags because mining guild starts with. Two, so he's already at four. I got to make sure that I just lock that up. Um, okay, so power tags. Yes, I have one power tag and I have another one in hand. So fusion power does turn on uh, ironworks. So that's a good pick for us. Um, kind of a bummer to pass these other ones. All three of these cards are good though. So um, any any three of those wheeling would be good for us. Yeah, getting ironworks going would be great because it would it would basically give me a foil to Helion's uh, heat bump every turn. I mean, they're just making so much cash right now. At least I could start to terraform on on the same pace with them. Um, I'm passing down, so I'm passing to Mining Guild. I mean, Advanced Alleys is pretty ridiculous for Mining Guild. Um, Honestly, so is Protected Valley, though. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let him have that if he wants it. I, I don't really care that much. We're already Gen Four. I mean, this is gonna generate some cash for him. But I mean, I guess on the other hand, it's a science tag. This is a science tag too, worth noting. Um, I just don't think I'm. I'm gonna play that card. Whereas I do think I might end up playing Protected Valley. That's a tough one. I'm gonna give that guy a gift. All right, so, fortunately the only person who's got an, uh, a structure near an ocean tile is me. I'm going to take that to protect myself. That's actually a cheap ocean tile placement too. Um, I might just play it on these cards. Because I, I want to get to four so I can play that power tag um, and get my uh, power thing going. So pets came around. 
I'm gonna take fusion power for sure. I'm gonna take flooding because I really want to get to four ocean tiles. Um, pets is also pretty good. Protected Valley could get me towards uh, Gardener as well. I'm going to skip pets. I'm going to take Protected Valley. Um, hmm. That's a, that's a that's a is an interesting one. I, the, my thing is, I, I kind of like the idea of playing protected value over here. Um, if I can get a greenery tile down, it it can really um, accelerate me towards uh, gardener as well. Yeah, I did pass that to him. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was, that could end up being bad for me. All right, so he played a city. Um, that does bump me. Um, but I now I need to watch out for the fact that I have a, a contender for mayor. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop this ocean tile down here and just pick up a couple more cards. Uh, it's pretty cheap. I get two back because it's an event. Um, this guy's gonna have the just the lock on terraformer. Let's go ahead and do flooding. Let's see here. Hold on a sec here. I'm gonna go ahead and do flooding. pick up these cards and then I'm gonna go ahead and play eh, let's just see what we got here what cards do we got grass and decomposer is not great um, how are we doing on milestones here I'm still have a hefty lead and I really want to get another ocean tile down I'm just gonna skip here because if one of these if one of these players plays an ocean tile, it would be so helpful for me. I guess alternatively, if I have to just pass this whole turn, I could just play Protected Valley. Like it's pretty good early. Bumps the oxygen. Don't want to pay just eight. I just don't want to pay eighteen out of hand for for an ocean tile. I do want to get these cards down though this turn if I can because it turns on Ironworks the following turn. Oh wait, uh, let's see here. I think I neglected the fact that I have a power tag that I can play. I can play the space one. Yeah, he picked up the other terraforming thing. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so let me make sure I did this right. So I have one power tag. So I can play solar wind power into fusion power, which also gets me there. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and hired raiders on the mining guild. This Helion player is going to be tough to beat. There is no doubt. I've got three science tags now. This will be my fourth. Um, so if I go protected valley and then grass, I'm at five plants, so I might be able to get to two quickly. So all right, so let's go ahead and do fusion power. I'm 
I'm just gonna take that now. I don't want to. I don't want to be coy with it, particularly because I want to angle for another one. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have played protected valley right there. Okay. Um, so let's pass. Was, uh, this is a good, good game so far. Everybody's got a pretty strong start. I, I think I'm behind. The Helion player just had a blistering start. I mean, um, I think I'm going to be hard pressed to catch them. They're just going to terraform like crazy. I think they've also got one of the. Um, Artificial Lake seems like it's going to be good in this game. Because we're going to get to negative six quickly. Heat Trappers I'll leave for someone else. The only thing about Noctis farming is that it, it gets me to my second plant. So if I play, if I play Protected Valley and Grass, um, it gets me to there. I don't think Heat Trappers really does anything for me. I Private, I don't think. I mean, he's at 13, man. Like, that's like dropping the bucket. I don't think that does anything. Um, I think it's Lake or Farming. I, I think what I want to do is try and get uh, Gardener. So if I, if I buy Protected Valley and I play Grass and Noctis Farming... I get another greenery tile. Two, three, four, five, six. That's a tough call. Artificial lake is good. I'm going to take the lake. That also will give me uh, greeneries if I need them. So invention contest is good because I get a couple of bucks back for it. This cost me three. Do I want that? I don't want shuttles. Yeah, I'm going to take invention contest. I'd really like to find some of those science payoffs. Um, A little extra cash, maybe. I'm just gonna take that. I don't really. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna buy it. I don't like taking those negative point cards. Um, all right, I'm gonna take Lake and Invention Contest. Maybe I don't even want the Lake. Maybe I should have taken the other one. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I. Maybe I do want these seven credits. Is that worth a point? Maybe I have enough cards to play, actually. Maybe I, yeah, I kind of want this, though. I'm going to take those two. I don't know about that. It's a tough one. I'm definitely getting my Ironworks going this turn. And... Well, I'll start with that. <laughs> this guy's just got a crazy start. Yeah, so I suspected that was coming. So we're we're gonna. That's actually okay. I mean, it's not it's not great for me, but it could be worse. All right, so let's go ahead and get. Um, let's just go ahead and play invention contest here. Okay. 
this seems useless to me with the heat going up so fast. Tech stress power also not amazing for me. Like I don't need more energy at this point. Um, but it is a point on the card. Maybe I just take predators in case somebody uh, you know plays something or if I get something that I can put plants on. Predators has a 11% uh, restriction. I guess this is a more unique card. I guess I'm just going to take that. All right, so let me think here. So I got one milestone. If I'm going to go for Gardener, probably my next play, I'm going to go Ironworks cash that in for a steal, and then play Protected Valley. And then hope that people don't hit my plants and try and kind of string them together. I think I have a chance of getting that second milestone. Also, I think I'm in a good spot for Scientist as this game goes forward. Okay. 4 1. I do need to be careful though, because all it takes is like research and you're you're it's contested. I think this game's gonna be over before he gets the benefit of sponsors back, but all right, so let's go ahead and get Ironworks going. And I think I think I will play Protected Valley. Yeah, I think I will. It just gives me some flexibility. And it gives me a little bit more cash. Man, we're getting I'm getting smoked though by this Helion player. It's like plus 8 on his TR and he's generating 13 a turn. That's pretty good. So that's a 21 per turn and I'm generating two, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's generating eleven more cash than me per turn. I do have a milestone. If I can spin it into another milestone, then I think I've got a chance. So let's go ahead and do. Yeah, I think it's better to do this first. I'm. I don't think I can do both. And let's see here. This one is 11. Gosh, I'm one short. So let's see here. If I go, if I sell decomposers, I'm at 10. If I sell predators, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hold off. I, I, I do hope that these plants survive. I, I don't want someone to take these plants, but um, the thing is, if I sell these and play this now, I could play. I could just buy a plant and then play a plant, and I'm at gardener. Um, But I think I might want Predators. I 
definitely don't want decomposers. All right, I'm just gonna pass. I, I, I'd rather have the flexibility of the money. And these guys aren't cl aren't so close. I mean, he's really close to getting a, um, he's gonna be close to getting Terraformer, but I still think I've got enough time to get Gardner in there. Okay, Domed Crater. Now that could be good for me too. Search for Life gives me another science tag. I don't know if it's worth it though. If I pass that nuclear zone, I know it's gonna hit it's gonna hit me here. Which is pretty annoying. Which way am I passing? Um even down. So I'm passing to Mining Guild. So maybe he'll take nuclear zone and go after one of these sites. I'm I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take this dome crater. Um that could be good for me. Search for life might come around too. Okay, development center. God, it's a little late in the game for that though. And I do want to get anti grab going. Maybe I'll take that. I kind of want to play that domed crater and then just immediately get a city down over here, but I think I don't think it's going to work out like that. I got to go for these plants down here first. Let's see here. All right, I'm just gonna take zeppelins. I don't care about insulation. If it were gonna go to Helion, I might cut it just so they couldn't get banker, but at the very end, but um, I guess it doesn't even really matter because they're just gonna take thermalist. Hey, Ninde, how's it going? Um, I feel like I'm dropping frames here a little bit. That might be part of the problem. For some reason. Um, okay, so Search for Life did come around. So did Development Center. So I've got four tags right now. That puts me at five and six. I'm so close to anti-grav if I do that. It's already Gen 6 though, this development center is not going to be amazing. I'm going to take the dome crater. And oh, I'm going to I think I'm going to skip zeppelins. It's already so late that I, I don't even know what I would do with the energy if I got the science payoffs. Like if this had a point on it, I would take it. I think I'm just gonna skip it. It's a tough call. This is pretty cheap. Uh, no, not gonna do it. Nope, not gonna take those cards. That's a, that was a tough choice, but uh, I'd rather have the cash. 
All right, so I could just play Domed Crater right now and then and then make a plant right away. I think I'm going to do that. Whoops, I did that math incorrectly. <laughs> oh, it's because I was going to play grass too. This is exactly what I'm talking about though. I'm going to have to fade an asteroid right now. All right, I'm just going to do this. Um, if uh, if this comes back around to me, I'll, I'll be able to play this. But yeah, I just I in my mind somehow I already it was already at five. Um, I think it's quite likely that I lose these plants. Unfortunately, that that could that could be a, a pretty big misstep actually. Um, Okay, research. I would have liked that one. Okay, so he's going heavy science too. All right, well, that's unfortunate because I was kind of hoping to go for that one. And I just passed, or I just chose not to buy several science tags. I guess that was the other, the other reason to do it was to try and set up that award. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm just a little cash poor right now, so those science tags weren't going to be amazing. It's already Gen 6, and, and both Helion and I have pretty good terraforming uh, capacity. Like, this game's going to end super fast. So Development Center just would have been 10 cash for no points. Um, I just don't think that I'm that was going to be a good deal. And the way this turn is going to work, I should be able to line myself up for another milestone because I've got two cities down and I've, I'm going to have two plants down. Um, if As long as this guy doesn't hit my plants. So that, I definitely left an opening here, which I could regret. <laughs> it is just a game. <laughs> All right. Um, an animal plant or whatever. So I could get a point out of this just by playing grass almost. Um, wait, what does this do? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um... Okay. I guess he's going for banker. That's a weird play. I don't really understand that one unless he's got like a bunch of earth tags. They did leave me the window for this though, so I'm going to go ahead and do this.
Um, I decided I did not want to do uh, uh, decomposers. It might have gotten me a point. I might regret that because I think I will end up being able to put a point on it. It would have cost me five. But right now I just want as much money as possible on the next turn because um, depending on what I get, I could have I could have a turn where I claim mayor and gardener. I think Helion's gonna beat me to it. To I think he's gonna get to terraformer before I can get to to do those things. But we we shall see. If I can get all three milestones, I that would be. That would make up for some of the the disparity in uh, terraforming rating. I mean, I could see Helion just buying a plant right now, and then ore processing to start. Well, I guess I guess he would give the mining guild player an opportunity to get in there. Tricky spot for him. Wow, yeah, he's just going straight to terraformer. Smart move. a good game so far all right so okay now oh man I um, forgot I'm not gonna be able to bump the oxygen this turn that was that was dumb of me um, yeah not my Titus although I, I think it was still worth it to do to play that the way I did um, underground city does get me a uh, to mayor, but I think I'd rather just do it through f uh, through plants at this point. I think I might take farming. Like this is gonna be good in this game. Yeah, I'm gonna take farming. Okay, nice. So I did get convoy. Um, oh wow, ecosystems. I can play ecosystems off of these two cards too. Um, and plantation is amazing for me too. Um, because it gives me um, gardener right now. Wow, those, all three of those cards are just great. I guess just raw points plantation is better. Uh, because it gives me four points but convoy I just love convoy but I think I'm taking plantation like gosh those are good cards that I just passed there I wish that I'd come off uh, one earlier Martian rails not looking good in this game yeah that was a big mistake on my part with uh, my my steelworks I just I just forgot that I paid that uh, energy to build that city yeah that was that was not great <laughs> oh well that could cost me so power plant did come around I think I'm gonna take that and I'm, I might take all four of these cards. Um, I 
do I want this card? I don't think so, actually, because it's just giving up two is not good in this situation. I'm just going to take these three. All right, so I'm going to go, if it comes to me, well, let's see what these guys do. kind of hope the mining guild player has a way to get this uh, this heat bump off this oxygen because I think the mining guild player is a little behind. Let's see here. I guess I could fund landlord too. <laughs> hey Ninde, good. I'm glad you got your first win. That's that's always a good feeling. Um, maybe I should just take Planner. That's unfortunate. He's gonna leave the door open for um, or I'm not not Planner, a uh, landlord. So unfortunately, I think the Helion player is gonna get this oxygen bump right now. He's just gonna buy a greenery tile somewhere. He did leave me the opportunity to get this uh, placement bonus or to um, get this heat bump bonus. Hmm. This is a little annoying. Man, that was a mistake. Um, I think I'm just gonna play the artificial lake here. I did not play this one great. Let's just go ahead and get this lake down. I'm just going to play it over here. I hope this guy has a way to get one of these bumps, but I don't think so. He doesn't have a lot of cash here. The way this is shaping up, the Helion player is going to get both bumps, which is just not great for me. Um, I guess I could just hold off, like... Neither of those guys are about to get a milestone, other than he's probably going to fund scientists. Nuclear zone. Okay, good. Okay, he got one of them. <laughs> yeah, nail my spot. So that was a disadvantage of waiting. Um, I end up losing a point. That's okay.
I'm going to play. I want to have enough to get plantation down. So if I play a great dam, that leaves me with too little. So I'll just play power plant. Man, if this guy bumps the heat a couple times, I could play farming. Which would be great too. Um, I think it's going to be too late for this guy. Next turn, I should be able to get Gardener. He would need another city. Don't think he's going to be able to do that this turn, and I'm in position on him. So I should be able to get Gardener. Curious to see what this player does. The way he's been playing, it wouldn't surprise me if he just bumps the heat some more. He's been very aggressive about that. I mean, this game's going to end incredibly fast, so... He's just trying to play around me having a way to bump the oxygen. He doesn't want to give that to me. But he wants to outlast me this round uh, so that he can, because he still hasn't used this uh, ore processor ability. But he doesn't want to put this into range for me. Yeah, he's just selling a patent. So I'm going to do the same thing. I will sell uh, decomposers. Don't think I'm going to have a window for that one. Um, I mean, he could take this any time by just using ore processor and buying a uh, plantation or a greenery tile. Okay, that's a bummer for me. Yeah, he took my plants. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. The mining guild player is gonna is really messing me up right now. I think the mining guild player is just out. Um, I mean, the fact that he he's not gonna be able to get a milestone, I think, is gonna make it extremely difficult for him to win, but he does have 7 VP, which is more than Helion and myself, so that uh, he's definitely not out of it. Miranda Resort. Okay. Um, man, I don't really want to sell another card, but I don't think I'm getting to, uh, I don't think I'm getting to Antigrav this game, so I'm just going to sell that one. 
Helion only has one card left, so they're going to have to do something. That's his last card. Well, I probably played that game incorrectly by, um, or this round incorrectly by not meeting out my actions a little bit better because now I'm going to have to give it to him. Let's see here. So if I, I'm at 21, I need 15 for plantation. So that leaves me six. I have to sell two of these cards, which I don't want to do. Yeah, just did not play that great. I mean, it's unlikely that I use Predators as well. Just based on what we've seen so far. All right, I'm gonna sell Predators too. I did not play this round very well. I'm definitely losing this one right now. Okay, you passed. So I could play a great dam here. I think I'm just gonna pass though and leave my cash because th there's a chance here. Uh, we'll see. I just want to see what I get. Okay, none of these cards are very good for me. I'll just take Media Group at this point. That's a pretty big whiff right there, unfortunately. The nice thing is that I, he's going to be forced to buy something to raise that oxygen this turn. Ooh. Now I do have two plant tags um, for insects, but it, it, uh, I can't pass birds and they just take it from me. Maybe just Eos? I'm gonna take birds here. That's unfortunate. I just think I'm gonna play playing farming, so. Do I want birds? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. I think I just wanna play things to the board here and try and get landlord second and scientist if I can. I do need some cards though. I'm like out of cards here. Yeah, I I think I just uh, did not play the middle part of this game very well. Um, hmm. Take birds. 
Yeah, I'm actually... I'm actually not going to be able to get this bump because... I have to fund the gardener this turn before... <laughs> hmm. Well, I hope this guy takes the bump. <laughs> Thanks, Ninde. It's good having a good cheering section. Man, I played the middle part just so awkwardly. Like, the thing is, I'm in position on mining guild, I, but he's got two cities. If I if I pass it to him, he's just gonna build a city and then take the take the the mayor, and I I can't afford to lose those points. So I'm, I guess I mean if the Helion player may make it a moot point by just taking the bonuses right now, which I think would be good for me, and then I'll just take like if he just you know uses his. Uh, this thing or processor and then buys a plant or something um, then that leaves me free to just take plantation but I'm getting pretty far behind now on Helion um, man with the way I played the middle part by reducing my energy and not having the second bump last generation was just really bad um, I mean it was good to get the second city down I think but I, I should have done something to make sure I got my energy back up. Yeah. Okay. So he did what I thought he would do. That at least it makes it guilt free. I couldn't. I could, there's no way I could have played around that based on the line that I took. But I'm getting really far behind here on points now. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and. Whoops. Let's go ahead and build a plantation. And I'll put it here. Get a little cash back. All right, so scientist, he's up by one. I hope he funds scientist. That'd be great for me. Just a couple of points. Landlord, I think I'm going to win. So, and he's going to fund miner almost for sure. So. I think if this, when this gets around to me, if I can, I'm gonna go ahead and fund Landlord. It's Landlord is also good because the Helion player is gonna be third in that. So I'm really hoping that this guy funds. I mean, he's gonna fund Miner, which unfortunately, not super strong in that one. Yeah, and I guess he's taking my one. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't think that was going to make a huge difference, but... Um, all right, so I've got to get... He's going to fund uh, Thermalist now. Yeah, I just played that middle part of the game so awkwardly. Like, if I, if I had played it better, I would have had position to get these awards, too, and I would have gotten this bump. So, not, not my best play in this game. These guys also played very, very well. Okay, so that leaves it for me. I think I want to fund Landlord. Um, and then let's go ahead and do this. So I want to get farming down this turn. I don't even think these guys have plant production, so birds is not even going to be good for me. Um, I do lead off next turn, which is nice. So I can I can protect these plants if I do play farming. Yeah, this one's going to be close. I think it's going to it could end up end up. It could be done next turn. Yeah. I don't think he's got any cards right now. Two. Oh no, he bought two cards. Okay. 
So I don't I think he did he use his org processor already? Yes he did. Okay. So I'll get farming down right now. I think I'm just gonna let these minerals accrue because I, I wanna get second in minor. If I can get second in minor and first in landlord, that's seven points. Uh, yeah, for sure, Ninde. So I'm plus five on milestones here with respect to purple. So I'm at 35 to 40. And then I have an award here, which puts us almost at parity. He's got nothing on the board and three VP, and I have four VP and a little bit on the board. So I think that right now I'm actually, I'm actually doing okay. Okay. Let's get my farming down here. Yeah, I think this game might end next turn. So he's gonna that's I'm gonna get two oxygen bumps next turn, which is gonna be good. And then it's basically just oceans at that point. Hmm. He's only got two cards, so I think I'm doing okay. I have to make sure that I hold on to Landlord, obviously. That was a little bit of a risky, a risky uh, funding, but. The Helion player is definitely going to have a lot of cash in the last few rounds uh, because they're not going to need to spend all this. He's been using this to bump the heat. Um, man, he really wants to fund Thermalist, I think, but... I wish I could signal to the mining guild player that I'm not going to compete with him for scientist because <laughs> I'd love him to fund that. That would be great for me too. I mean, he can see I only have two cards, so if he's got any science tags in hand, he's probably got that locked. Um, this game's very close now. Okay, it's a point. All right. Yeah, I think if I had played this game better in the middle, I, I would have run away with it. Uh, I mean, it also depends on what the Helion player has in hand. He's only got one card, so it's not like he's holding a lot of stuff in reserve, but um, I, I definitely did not play the middle part great. I'm, I'm glad I got these two milestones. I think I played that well, but um, I losing this energy to get the city down was both good and and bad. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should have waited a turn on that city until I had a way to get my energy back up in the same turn. But private and Q are going to be are going to be real critical of my play in this one. Okay, I think I'll take release of inert gases here. It's just two points. That's, that's probably good. Two points for 17. Yep, he did disappear. Although it may actually just be better to take an ocean tile 
or to buy an ocean. I, I the way this is going right now, I kind of want this game to end. I think if the Helion player, I really want the Mining Guild player to fund an award because the the Helion player is gonna fund Thermalist if it gets to him. Hmm. I have three. He's got three. Two, so that's eight total. So this is not worth it for me. I don't want this guy to be able to put microbes on his card. I don't really care about industrial microbes at this point. I think I'm just going to hack this one. That's also a little bit of a whiff for me. What would be amazing is just something that lets me play an ocean tile. I, I really want the game to kind of end. Probably should have just taken that um, that other one. Kind of a whiff on cards for me. Do you have birds in Great Dam? I'm gonna be able to get birds now. So if this game goes another round, I'll get two points off of birds. Just depends on whether these guys wanna end it or not. Dust seals. So that's not going to work for me. I'm going to take. I'm going to take release of inert gases, and that is it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get as many points out of this oxygen as I can. puts me at two plants so I'm you know might be worth it for me just to buy another plant over here I guess this ocean tile will be good too uh, to get this two two cost ocean tile so maybe I go ocean tile plant which would set me up for another plant the following round I really hope that the mining guild player funds scientists that, that would just be great because I'll get second on that and I'm not going to compete with them for it. Going another round is not terrible for me. So, I, I mean, I, I still will be able to accrue some points. Optimal arrow breaking. That's a weird play. Okay. Yeah, it's too bad. I, I wish that he had funded scientists because I, I think the Helion player now should completely fund thermalists, which I will get second in. Um, now I am thinking I'm just going to buy an ocean tile here. I have forty-seven. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right. Um, and the reason that I'm going to go ahead and play and you know, just buy an ocean tile is that it gives me these two plants, which will set me up. Um, let me think about that. Is that right? Yeah, because then I'll have. Well, maybe not actually. Let me think about that because I want to get to eight plants total. doesn't look like I'm playing birds because I'd have to hit my own production so this would be 26 and then um, yeah uh, that's bad for me yeah I really think that the mining guild player should have funded scientist I, 
I mean, I guess, I guess it's risky, but I think that was their best bet to get another award. Um, cause Thermalis is, that's just not great for me. I, maybe that's what he was thinking though, is that he'd just be able to passively get three points, which is pretty good. Um, all right, well, where do we stand on points then? I'm going to go ahead and standard project and aquifer. And I think I I think I might just go like plant plant. That's like four more points. Is that right? Hmm. If somebody else buys an ocean, I'd have enough to do inert gases and great dam. Let's see. Colony ship. Mm, that's a good one for him too. Um, yeah, see if he had the probe, I just don't understand why he didn't fund I don't understand why he didn't fund scientist. I may I'm probably gonna end up losing from that. I don't think I had a way to play around that though. Um, let's see here. So Awards are going to be, I'm, I'm going to get Landlord, Mining Guild second. Maybe I'm underestimating Mining Guild. I mean, maybe this guy's just going to have, he's going to be in it too. So he's got 41 and 3, 44. So let's see here. If I play... 18 and 14 is 32, so I can play a release of inert gases and buy an ocean tile. I think I'm just going to buy that ocean tile. Okay, hold on a sec though. If I do that though, then I won't be able to play another plant. Hmm, how much money does he have? Not much. So it's gonna go another round. If I play if I buy an ocean tile, it's gonna go another round. He's got three cards. I'm going to sell birds. I want to see what this mining guild player is going to do. How many points does the, so this guy's got 41, 44, 45, plus 5, 49, and he's got, fifty-four, fifty-four points. Um, I've got 33, 43, 48, 50, almost done, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So I think I'm actually beating the purple player right now. So I, I think it behooves me to just end this game. And the Mining Guild player, they've got 30, 41, nothing here. They've got Miner, 46, second place on Landlord, 48, and 50 with Thermalist, 51. 
This guy's worth another 152. So I think I'm I think I'm winning here. I think I think this guy's gonna have to have a lot of points. So I'm just gonna go ahead. It does kind of suck giving up this last thing, but. I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna end this game. I think it's I think it's in my best interest to go ahead and end this game right now. And that leaves me enough to get inert gases, which is how many points I would have gotten off of playing a greenery tile anyway. So Even if he has uh, my the um, the one that makes five steel or whatever, I'll still I should still be able to tie him. I mean, I guess he could just start laying stuff down over here, but it does it is a little annoying that I just came up two plants short, but whatever. Space elevators, another two. I still don't think that gets him where he needs to be. Although he does have four more points on, uh, he does have four more points I forgot about. He could be getting into the range now. He's got four more points on colony ships, so that's 17, so 47, 52, 56, 57, 58. Is it 58 points right now? Yeah, 50, I think he's at 58. He's got two more cards left. It's good that this guy is making a run at Thermalist because it really constrains the Helion player with their last little bit of cash. Like, this guy is going to be at 19, 24. And he's going to be at 22, 26, so he really can't spend a lot of this. He can spend a couple, uh, but that's that's really going to constrain him. And he, he certainly cannot concede Thermalist to the Mining Guild player. So it may be that in the end, it was the Mining Guild player that was a bigger threat to me, surprisingly. I thought Helion was sort of in the driver's seat the whole time, but... This is an interesting game. I, I definitely feel like I, I I think I'm winning. Did I do that math right? 34, 44, uh, 49, 51, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I'm at 66 right now. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's his last one. Four pointer, three pointer. Let's see here. Twenty six, and he's gonna be at twenty four. All right, so let's go ahead and get inert gases. I could play it very risky and get that one last point because I have enough, I think I have enough steel to win second in minor even if I play windmills. I think he might be out though, so we'll see what he does here. For his actions, he's not gonna do that. I guess he could draw a card, he already did this one. Mohol, just for a landlord. Six. I 
doesn't really do anything. Yeah, he doesn't have enough to play another plant, so. Oh, Mohol gives him four more production? Oh my gosh. He's gonna win it. 22, that's why he didn't fund it. Well played by the uh, Mining Guild player. 22, 26. <laughs> that was well played by the Mining Guild player. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the, the thing that's bad for me is that it allows this guy to spend some of his cash, but um, wow, that was that was a trap and a half that was set by that mining guild player. <laughs> Who was that? Filk JJ? Does that let him win? I mean, let's see. Does he... Um, I think I still edged him, but... Uh, let's see here. 30... Now he's gonna get 10 points here, 40, 53, 57. All right, so he's got two here. Um, I just need to beat two. Um, and, uh, I've got, so I can spend three here and still have enough. So I can, I can do this one. Let's see here. Yeah. I think that's all. So I ended up with 36, 46, 51, 53, 60. Yeah, this one's going to be close. 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I got 68. Mining Guild, he got ended up getting 30, 47, because he's got the colony ship, 57, 59, 60, 61. I think it's 61. Man, that's a close one. Did he get enough to lay a plant down? Because if he did, no, he did not. Well, let's see. It's going to be close. A very close game all the way around. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. I think um, I think this uh, play to the board is going to really help me in this game because it's such a low scoring game that having four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points on the board is really really a nice uh, nice reserve. <laughs> um, we got some salty players here. That milestones is going to really help me. Yep, got there. Uh, well, that was a good game. Um, that was fun. You know, Helion, uh, I really thought that he was going to have more points in the end, but... Um, I don't know. Just put it all into terraforming, and just didn't turn, didn't turn into, uh, didn't turn into a lot of points. <laughs> all right. Well. Um, all righty. Hey, well, everyone, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, for those of you that um, that hung in there, 
uh, Ninde, great seeing you. I'm glad you won your first one. That's awesome. And um, maybe we'll get to play each other sometime. So um, I'm going to take the stream down. I got to get to work tomorrow. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. We'll see you later. <laughs>